Hey y'all, thank you so much for stopping in and visiting with me over on Rochester Heat and Air's channel. I'm Fritz Rochester and uh, wanted to do like a brief little video today. Well, <laughs> if you know me, it's not going to be brief. Uh, we're just going to shoot a video today. And uh, like I said, I appreciate y'all sticking with me. Y'all mean the world to me. I, I can't thank you enough for sticking with me. And uh, just wanted to say thank you so much for for all your well wishes and all your prayers. I've, I've had just a, a tremendous amount of stuff going on over here at the house. and. Uh, uh, we're getting back to normal over here. So I figured I might shoot a little video for y'all today. And basically it's going to be on my amp probe here, which I think is one of the best meters on the market today, personally. Me personally, I think they're one of the best meters on the market today. However, I'm not going to bash any other meters. I think uh, each meter on the market, you know, especially the ones that we use in HVAC trade that a lot of us use, are actually fantastic meters. And they're, they have their own, they, they have their own, functionality for you know the stuff that we're doing today now as for the amp probe here I think it's like I said one of the best meters on the market today because it actually does inrush current that was one of the main reasons I bought it however there are several meters on the market today too that do inrush current but the other main reason I bought this meter was because I was able to do wattage along with all the other you know uh, stuff you know like being able to test uh, uh, flame sensors and whatnot you know the whole nine yards but uh, anyway, one of the main reasons, though, is this wattage right here. Now, you can take uh, any amp clamp, you know, on the market today, basically, and we're, I think we're all in agreement with Ohm's Law. Well, one particular part of Ohm's Law is volts times amps equals watts. Okay, I think we're in agreement with that. Okay, all right, guys. Well, with this particular meter, it actually does show watts in real time. So you can actually show the customer the wattage of this particular unit, that, well, the compressor, we're hooked around this, this uh, black and blue striped wire here, which is our common on our compressor. And uh, we can actually show in real time what the wattage, what the compressor here is uh, doing. Okay, now there's actual meters on the market too today that actually have the dual displays, which I think they are awesome. But, uh, you know, then you're gonna have to take another step. You're actually gonna have to take and you know, whip out your calculator, your phone, and you're going to say, well, here's my volts, sir, or ma'am, and here's my amps. Let's multiply this out to you, and that's going to give you your wattage. And we would assume that that's what the true wattage is on your unit, wouldn't we? I, I would think we would. You know, and that's Ohm's Law, in it? Volts times amps equals wattage. Uh, here's where the amp probe comes in to be a wicked instrument. There's a thing called power factor, okay? That's built into this unit right here. And I'm going to prove a point. We're going to we're going to demonstrate this. Um, so if you're actually just telling the customer, if you don't have power factor built in, um, you're probably going to use a rule of thumb like 0.8 uh, as a multiplier. However, I mean, let's think about this, guys. Here in Fern Creek, Kentucky, I might be running 240 volts. Uh, in California, Dallas, out there, he might be running 220. So that's going to throw that 0.8 all all out of whack. But uh, like I said, I've Everything I can get my hands on, I Google stuff about air conditioning, electrical, anything. I, I, I don't claim to be a superstar. I try to learn something. I actually do try to learn something new every day. And uh, I actually listen to my peers and, and try to learn something new from them too when I can. But uh, anyway, nonetheless, uh, what I wanted to do was basically prove a point with the wattage here. So what we're actually going to do, guys, is we're going to actually come over here to volts. And we're going to get our volts here. And in Fern Creek, Kentucky, we are running at 242.7, 242.7, um, I'm not going to split hairs on this guys, I'm probably just going to call it 243, let's give it one second, I'm going to round up, we're going to call it 243 guys, alright guys, well, let's go ahead and write this down, you know, our little Ohm's Law thing, 243 volts, okay, now let's get our amperage. Okay guys, it looks like we're looking at 6.7, 6.71, 6.68. Now this thing's going to fluctuate, I mean it, it's a motor, you know, it's actually pumping a refrigerant through it. So let's see here, let's just call it, uh, for giggles we'll call it 6.71, okay guys, 6.71, stay there. Heck, let's just call it 6.7 amps, alright, 6.7. All right, guys, let's take our handy-dandy calculator here. Now, I guess if you had that dual display one, you'd whip out your calculator and you'd say, well, here you go, sir, 243 times 6.7 equals roughly 1,628 volts. All right, let's write that down. 
I just think, guys, that if you know if the customer can actually see the wattage, he'll understand it better. You know, just like I was saying with our, uh, you know, with our Subco Megas. You know, we bought that for a reason because it, you know, one has a red light meaning bad, the other one has a green light meaning go, meaning good. So the customers actually understand that, and they can actually relate wattage to, uh, to you know, to their utility bill and whatnot. But uh, anyway, guys, we came up with 1,628. Like I said, it's fluctuating around a little bit. We use 6.7, but uh, let's go ahead and move it to watts. Now, I guess we should actually be seeing, you know, by Ohm's law, we should be seeing 1,628 watts. Let's see what we see here. That's a negative. Looks like we're seeing 1.48, 1.47 kilowatts. Now we can times that times a thousand to get our watts. So we're actually looking at 1,500 and let's call it 48. 1,548. Okay. Okay. Well, let's take that 1628 and minus our 1,548. It's jumping around, like I said, you know, it is a motor. 1,548. And that's giving us 80 watts, guys. 80 watts. Now that's that's well over a 60 watt light bulb. So basically, you know, you can say, hey, look, you know, it, it's uh, you're not actually getting your true power. Okay, you're getting your apparent power. And we're going to prove a point by actually getting in and, and and coming over here to our power factor, that multiplier I was telling you about. So uh, basically, guys, let me stop here. I'm going to go ahead and get set up again and. Uh, you know, guys, this could actually add up. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're, we're out 80 watts is what we're out. We, you know, because we would have told the customer, yeah, man, for my Ohm's law, my voltage times my amps gives me my watts, and my watts is actually 1,628. It's not. It's 1,548, and you're out 80 watts, okay? Now, let's say we add all that up. I mean, we've got a fan in here we need to, we need to do the power factor on. We've got a blower motor downstairs we need to do a power factor on, and then... I mean, if, if each one of those is out, you know, 80 watts or so, I mean, what what are we out? Like, 80 times 3 is what? 80 times 3 is 240. So, uh, you know, you're out some serious wattage right there, guys. All right, well, let me back up, and I'll, I'll show you the power factor and all that if you all like to see. And I can't thank you all enough for sticking with me. It means the world to me. I'll okay, right guys, back we're to back, and uh, we left off with uh, parent power. Now, I'm not positive on the correct, the super correct terminology of it, I'm on a learning curve myself and I'm taking y'all along for the ride and I'm hoping y'all are getting something out of this. Um, I'm sure I'll probably catch something about, you know, I worded this wrong or worded that wrong, but, you know, heck, that's part of doing videos, I guess. But uh, anyways, our apparent power, you know, we went by one of Ohm's laws, volts times amps equals watts, and we were in agreement with that. And off our Emerson Sure switch, we determined that we had 243 volts. And off of our uh, black with the blue striped wire, off of our common lead, off our compressor, we determined we had 6.7 amps. We multiplied those two together, and we came up with 1,628 watts. Okay? Well, guys, then we went to the amp probe itself, and we pulled it to wattage. And in real time, we seen that our actual true wattage was 1,548 watts. And that was a difference of 80 watts. So basically what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do... Like I said, my terminology might not be that fantastic here, but basically what we're going to do is what I'm calling a true power inductive load. Volts times amps times power factor equals watts. Now on any AC alternating current uh, inductive load, you must have a power factor. You cannot go by the old rule that, uh, you know, the uh, uh, volts times amps equals watts without the power factor involved in it, okay? That's on any AC inductive load. So basically, the great thing about this meter is it actually has the power factor built into it, and I'm actually gonna show it to y'all. So basically, let's uh, get started again here. Let's uh, pull the thing to volts, pull our amp probe to volts. And let's see what we're running at right now. It's later in the day, guys. Uh, let's see, it's, uh, we're looking like 244 volts there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pencil that in. Times our amps. Let's go ahead and get our amps. And it looks like we're running in it roughly, we're gonna call it 6.6, .6, okay? 
right, guys, let's get our power factor. And that's a piece of cake, guys. Uh, like I said, I've been studying up on this meter and, and reading a little bit about it. And uh, basically all we're going to do here is pull it to wattage. Okay? Now we're getting our watts again. And if you remember, we were actually, uh, about an hour or two ago, we were reading 1,548 watts. Now we're reading 1,555. All right, guys, do you see that flashing W right there? What we're actually, that's our watts, and the PF in there is our power factor. So we're actually going to just toggle over with our joystick. This, this thing, once you get used to it, it's a piece of cake to maneuver. So let's factor over to the power factor, and we should, once I hit the button, we should see it up here. We have our power factor, and our power factor is now 0.96. Okay, guys, we can't really, I, I, like I said, I've heard ballpark figures of 0.8 to 0.92 that they actually add, or, you know, as, as a multiplier you know, times your volt, uh, volts, times your amps, times the, you know, whatever the ballpark figure is. We don't need ballpark figures, guys. What we have here is a testing instrument that actually does it for you in real time. So we're gonna put our 0.96 here, times our 0.96, and that should give us our true wattage, okay? So let's go ahead and pull this over, back over to watts with our joystick here. Highlight it, hit it, and we're reading 1,551. And this thing might not be dead on. Like I said, it's a motor. It's fluctuating. It's actually pumping a refrigerant. It's doing its job. But I think we're going to be pretty daggone close here, guys. So let's go ahead and do our, our math here. We had 244 volts times 6.6 .6 times our power factor, 0.96. Let's see what we get here, guys. 1,000. 545. Well, actually, 1,546. We round up, and we're running it. Uh, looks like we're running at 1,551 or 52. All right, guys. I think that is beyond close. I think we're we're looking really, really good there, guys. So uh, let's do our old school method and see what we'd actually come up with. So if we actually just did our 244 volts times our 6.6. .6, hold on. 244. Dag on it. 244 volts times 6.6 .6 amps. Old school Ohm's law. It's, it should be saying, you know, we'd be telling our customer it'd be uh, 1,610 watts. I just thought that was the cat's pajamas, guys. Uh, I really enjoy shooting these. I hope y'all got something out of them. Um, I actually plan on doing several more if y'all would like to see them. There's a bunch of stuff that this meter will do. That's like I'm saying, guys, every, every meter on the market has its own job to do. And like I said, I've, I have several meters and I prefer, you know, different meters for different jobs. However, to do air conditioning, this is your go-to meter, guys. To do air conditioning, your go-to meter. All right, guys, I hope you liked it and uh, we'll talk at you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.